Greetings, Klausowitz here. So in this video I want to talk about the meaning of strategy. And I already covered uh, this term, also I already mentioned this term in my last video about tactic and said that those terms are actually often confused with each other or used interchangeable. And not, not uh, only outside of military, because actually there I have no problem with it. I say this also in my tactic video. It's fine that people just use it uh, for uh, like a fancy word for something like plan or so, or an approach on something. So I have no problem. But I often see that in military um, terms, mostly when military um, historians or when um, also people talk on the internet, of course, about military stuff, they often confuse those words, use them wrong. And um, also in video games and movies, I often see this. And especially Grand Gears when I see like a military character in a story, which is like should be educated about this and just using it completely wrong. But I have to say that for this case, it is fine if this world where this story is set in actually has a different definition for it. If it's like a fantasy world or so. But yeah. But. I want to concentrate more on really this whole military history stuff because yeah, this is my channel about. I talk a lot about military history and um, in my What Means video I actually talk about terms in military history. So what do I think about strategy here? I actually have also an issue with the actual meaning of strategy because it is fine, it describes it very well what is meant and it makes sense to, um, to, to use this word or to create this word basically. and yeah. So some basics about strategy. Strategy comes from the old Greek word strategos, which means army leader. And therefore, as, as the word comes up in like the 18th century, it was used in the meaning of the art of a general or the art of arranging the troops and therefore of planning whole campaigns, the whole war, and with a long-term goal, a long-term plan in mind. Which of course includes like the movement of troops, the disposition of them, and of course also decepting the enemy, but also to gain information is also a part of it. Information are very big role in military and war scan in general. So then Clausewitz showed up again and uh, was of course also tried to, to define the word strategy more. And he had actually a very narrow approach on like it is, he said it is um, the employment of battles to gain the end of war. But actually we um, base many of our more modern strategic theories or military theories on Clausewitz because he has also this premise or the statement in his theories that was always connected to politics and that actually the politics give the goal for the for the war for military and therefore defining or changing the strategy and this is something of course we embraced a lot not only in the past but also today and therefore um, it's often that this Klaus word is like quoted on this or that it's also often linked to him that we say he defined this word um, which is really defined in a, in a case but I wouldn't agree, uh, agree so hard on his definition I um, basically he is saying yeah it's like all the battles all the military uh, actions combined to achieve the end of war which is basically to achieve the goal or a uh, goal of the war and this is basically right later on BJ Little Hearts actually it's a very different, uh, confusing name for me actually but um, the thing is that he uh, later on defined the word strategy as the distributing and applying of military means to achieve um, so to fulfill the end of a policy and this yeah sounds much better it's basically just like um, more uh, more clear or it's really just to um, clean his the definition of close it's up a bit to make it more clear what this is about the, the whole war and yeah so we can actually summarize strategy means like tactic means the battle and the battlefield and the troops directly that strategy actually means the whole war everything what has to do with it so when we are in a situation where a state wants to enforce so he is forced in the, in the whole concept um, something upon another group like another state for example then he uses his military for this he uses his armies his troops his fighters his soldiers and so on and then this is then the strategy is like how do I use those military means I have um, which can all inc also include to decept the enemy or to gain information from the enemy or over the enemy and 
to then how do I arrange this to actually enforce this on him, this goal we had, like to subdue him into a client state or to actually add his territory to uh, to conquer basically to their own state or maybe just to diminish his power or to gain resources out of him, stuff like this. This can be very different and it's very, very heavily um, uh, depending on the circumstances of the politics and of the well, states, of course. There's actually a differentiation between Western military strategy and Eastern military strategy, but this is more like a description of like different styles, what we like saw in the history of those areas. So basically what we saw in Japan and Korea, in China, so on, and what we see then more in like Europe. And But I want to say this is not so much connected to the original meaning of strategy. And it is more like to describe a strategic style and like we, what we saw based on the circumstances of those nations or based on uh, what was like uh, tradition in there or what was um, the art of war huh? in this um, senses. But it hasn't so much to do with the meaning of strategy. It's, it's really like more how do wage those guys war and how do those guys wage war. So yeah, so you see, while well, tactic is more about something to achieve on the short term, like win a battle, the hold fortifications, uh, raid a settlement, whatever, uh, and is really concerned about one battle and about the, what happens on the battlefield. On the other hand, strategy is concerned what is like happening in all of the in the summary of the war, what has happened with all the armies on all the different places, what is happening with the enemy, what I have to do, how to have arrange my tools, my military means to actually achieve the goal which comes from the state itself, and yeah, this is basically it. What is important is so tactic and strategy is actually connected with each other, but it is not so. How should I say? It is, it is not like just the tactic is on the field and the strategy is like on the map, I want to say. Um, because a successful tactic does, doesn't have to mean um, that it is also like a successful strategy, therefore. Or that a strategy, a successful strategy means a successful tactic. Because you can actually like lose the battle, which can be good for your strategy. Maybe it was actually your plan all along to lose this battle, to lose those men, which is kind of horrible, of course. But the thing is, when we're looking upon the whole war, and you maybe wage, though, that you say, okay, I sent those guys there, actually telling them, to win this battle, and you can win this battle, or implying that they have a, sh have a chance, or because I actually don't give them all information. So of course, a soldier or even generals don't have to. This don't doesn't mean they have all information, and they actually then die and this is and losing. Why? Well, meanwhile, I do something else, and actually my strategy wasn't successfully. Me went in the same time, and through my strategy, this tactic here was not successful, because those guys had the tactical. Um, goal to like defeat the enemy, uh, route the army, the enemy army, or hold the position, and they failed in that. And you see, um, also the other way around. If I have like the goal to conquer the city and hold it, so that we can actually use it as a like a headquarter to uh, take the next step in the strategy and everything, and actually manage to conquer the city. Um, but I lost so many men in there then I can't really hold it anymore. Ah, I said this wrong. But another thing is, if I have like the goal to defeat this army while I'm now meeting here, and I actually managed to defeat the army, I mean, it's so but I lost so many men, that actually my army is not capable of like um, conquering the city afterwards, which is also part of strategy, then actually the strategy failed. Because the, <laughs> the tactic was, um, you can say, not as successful as it wants to be. But yeah, the tactical goal was to defeat the army, which was achieved. But the strategic goal was like also conquering the city afterwards, have therefore enough men, and this wasn't achieved by the because the uh, battle, the victory was so expensive. So you see, it doesn't have to mean one way um, the the connection to each other. It can really mean you can lose tactic uh, goals or can lose uh, lose. Um, uh, like be defeated in tactical circumstances while you can be then therefore actually be successful in strategic um, meanings. So yeah, to, not, uh, to sum it up a little bit again, tactics, like I said in my review, is about the battle and the battlefield while strategy is about the war. And yeah, this is actually a very short, um, very easy definition which is true. 
of course there's some more detail in it like I showed you but um, it kind of gets my gears where people are saying oh when they're standing on the battlefield seeing the enemy army it's like our strategy is to like I go around this forest with my troops and I'm then your tactic <laughs> but I have to say it's not so so bad all the time and maybe I'm a little bit too picky on this but therefore you know and I would say it's very important if we talk about military history to use those terms right because if I tell, uh, tell you the Roman strategy was to raid villages in this war and you really understand that I mean what they wanted to achieve or what they wanted to do not to achieve in this war they wanted to raid the villages maybe to cut them off of supplies but if I say their tactic was to raid, to raid the village and I actually talk about an army who tried to maybe lure an enemy army out of a position and therefore they raided the village nearby and you see it, it can mean something very different actually um, when I just say it so and this is what, where I also say with uh, similar with my other term videos or what means it is about terms like heavy infantry and light infantry that um, we want to communicate effective with each other, we want to understand it effectively and therefore we have created those terms which have a big definition behind it but if I just say to you they are tactic wars and you know oh, on the battlefield on a battle in maybe a specific scenario this was a tactic or maybe this was a tactic like concerning specific troops in every battle and they just applied it over and over again when it was possible while I say their strategy was you know, ah, this is was what they tried to arrange their armies in, what they had to think of um, when they wanted to react to an enemy because they had this in the strategy or maybe had to change it afterwards. So I hope you enjoyed this video and if so, please give it a like, let me know what you think about it and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already did so and hopefully see you soon.